Charge Blade is a very technical weapon with a lot to pay attention to and manage during combat. You've got your files, which you need to charge, but now here in Wilds, you can also overcharge them. You have to take those files and charge your shield, and if your shield is charged, you can charge your sword, etc., etc. However, there's one crucial piece of any Charge Blade user's kit that just simply cannot be overlooked, and that is guard pointing. In Monster Hunter Wilds, it is a bit different than in previous titles, so let's go ahead and talk about first of all what a guard point is and how to do it, and then some charge blade tips and tricks when using guard pointing as an ability. Now to understand guard pointing, we first need to understand regular guarding. With charge blade, a guard is simply performed by holding R2 or the right trigger, and your hunter will hold the shield out in front of him in a defensive stance. Now this will block most incoming attacks, of course that will depend on how many levels of the guard skill you have and whether or not your shield is charged. However, there are two other ways to guard in wilds. The guard point, which we've already spoken about a little bit, and new to Monster Hunter Wilds is the perfect guard. Both of these are much more effective than simply just holding the guard button to block. However, with that additional effectiveness, they also require a bit more precise timing, as you'll see here soon. To perfect guard, you must press R2, or the right trigger, which is your guard button, right before a monster attack would hit you. With certain monster attacks, this can lead to a power clash, where you can mash your console's specific button, which is triangle or Y, to perform an offset attack that sends the monster reeling, like you can see here. Now this is the easiest of the two to do, as it only requires one input, and the timing is fairly generous as long as you don't do it too late, which I have struggled with a little bit here on the first day of the demo. You can chain a perfect guard into a Savage Axe attack by pressing Triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox after performing a perfect guard, and this is a great way to activate your Savage Axe, which is a massive damage buff to your Charge Blade. This also gives you another way to activate your Savage Axe outside of just your Focus Strike. Now, Savage Axe also allows all your axe attacks to only use up half of a file, taking you from 5 file hits up to 10. The only exception to this being the Super Amped Element Discharge, which I will call the SAED from here on out, which will use up all your files anyway. If you land a perfect guard, you can go directly into your SAED by pressing Triangle and Circle on PlayStation or Y and B on Xbox. You can also cancel this into a regular Amped Element Discharge, which I will be calling an AED, by holding back on the left analog stick and then holding triangle or Y. Now SAEDs are your biggest damage attack as a charge blade user, so why would you ever use an AED? Well, simply put, an AED hit only uses up one file, but causes three file explosions. This is great for sniping monster heads and can get you some juicy KOs when using impact files. It can effectively triple the stun status of a single file, which is just huge for Charge Blade. Now, if your shield is uncharged after a perfect guard, but you have some files stored, you can go into an SAD or AED, then you can press R2 or right trigger to cancel it into a round slash and charge your shield instead, or if you're just worried about whiffing, you can press those same buttons to recharge your shield and not commit to the long SAD or AED animations. This gives you some really fluid combat options so that way you're not missing your hardest hitting attacks or being stuck in a long animation as a monster is charging at you. Alright, so now that we've talked about guarding and perfect guarding, let's talk about its more advanced counterpart, which is the guard point. A guard point is performed anytime a monster attack would hit you, but you performed an attack with your weapon that causes your shield to be out in front of you. These include, but are not limited to, some of the examples that you can see here. As you can see, there are these brief moments where your shield is out in front of you, and if you get hit during this animation, you will automatically perform a guard point. Just like a perfect guard, this can be instantly chained into an SAED, provided you have a charged shield, or an AED if your shield is uncharged, and of course you can still cancel the SAED into an AED or round slash instead. Now the most commonly used way to guard point is to perform a morph slash. On PlayStation, you can do this by pressing R2 and Triangle together, or on Xbox, it will be your right trigger and Y. 
This puts your shield directly in front of you as soon as you press those buttons, making it the easiest of the guard pointing attacks to time. If your shield is charged, you also get a few benefits. The first being you will gain some extra guard ability, so attacks won't knock you back as far or do as much damage as they would if they hit you while you were just holding your guard button. But you can also deal file damage, allowing you to deal damage with your guard point and even get some KOs if you're lucky. I'll try to include a clip of that happening if I can find it. Guard pointing, and now here in Wild's perfect guarding, are crucial parts of any advanced charge blade user's arsenal. These allow you to skip the longer combos needed to get you to your hardest hitting attacks, allowing for better DPS, but they also allow you to effectively turn your defense into offense, and gives you some extra defensive capabilities by giving you extra guard, which aids in survivability as well. My suggestion to anyone who's new to charge blade or new to guard pointing would be to practice your perfect guard timing on a monster that you're comfortable with. In the demo, I prefer Chatacabra and Dashagama. I think those are the easiest to practice with and they have the most telegraphed attacks. Then, once you've got the timing down with a perfect guard, you can start incorporating a few guard points with the morph slash that we talked about. Once you've done it enough, it'll just become second nature and you'll be using that to guard everything and go into huge hitting file attacks which will take your charge blade abilities to the next level. If you guys did find this video helpful, a like would be super appreciated. If you're new to my channel, new to Monster Hunter, or you just want to find some incredible Monster Hunter Wilds content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 20,000, trying to get there before the end of the year, and I would love to have you guys on board. This channel is going to be the best place to find builds, guides just like this one, and a whole host of other Monster Hunter Wilds content, and the best way to make sure you never miss out on that is to be subscribed. If you're interested in joining any open lobby streams, I'm going to be streaming most nights this week of the Monster Hunter Wilds beta, and I'd love to have you guys out. We had a blast hunting last night for about four hours. The more the merrier, so definitely stop by and join one of the open lobbies. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day and happy hunting.